Guy, I can't even respond. Gwe ya katuwe yungako, watu munae wabana wengo chari mutax, ugenda waka uduka kula wa mkolo. Oso ulo gena msimu yo, no genda ku YouTube, no teka mwubu kede live stream. Oja kwa Saturday edition, ojifuna bulo onji na iju kila tuliku mkolo guwa Hira, Damari ne Hira, Israel. Kati muna iwa fuso muntomu, ye Damari ya chise Damari la Israelite. Ye boya gambi wacha gala, hey, kati wazi na tuliku reception, elangola wava ingila wavali very happy. Ante muna iwa unakulu chalumu, ante muna itelu dana tenore chumuna iwa buliru nakulu tuwaringa as if it's the end of the world. Kumanga muna iwa buliru nakulu cha tumanyo chigenda kudakoncha, nore cho enjoy to the fullest. Buliru nakulu cha be happy, sanyu katonyi iga, kumanga muna iwa cha tumanyo chimu kama cha kutegekede era chinsanyu sizanti damali sio no damali aliranga nyi zenga is serious which need ya garment baby israel njagala nkulage nti ate munainze damali we were nonze i felt so happy you brought all the joy in my life era munacho wala anti no yeri sanyu damali ya ingi denario part of it, you know, Israel comes to me just as a misplaced man and we share quite a number of things. 
And all I can say, family, Israel loves you very much. Israel, you have someone who, from video evidence, is compassionate. One of my favorite videos, I think, was shot around here when she was empathizing with uh, a chimpanzee. I do invite you, if you have not yet seen that video, Israel, please, to watch it. Putting a chimpanzee, which is a wild animal, so much at ease and making it so happy. <laughs> Carried it on her back. Now, if someone can make a chimpanzee happy. Another one of my famous videos was uh, his of uh, uh, a really downtrodden street boy who opened up to Damali and explained the reasons why he had gone to the streets. Because he was not entirely an orphan, but he had chosen to go to the streets. And uh, he gave all his story. So, we are talking about, you have now in your hands a very talented and a very resourceful, a very creative person, as we have seen from her work. I'm sure someone who can make a street boy happy and a chimpanzee happy will make a very decent gentleman very happy. Wish you the best in your marriage. Thank you so much, Joe. Uh, Joe, sorry, uh, Demali, people have not gone, but they are enjoying what Mr. and Mrs. Hero have served them, so they couldn't come up here. Sorry, Israel, I need to talk to you. And the reason I need to talk to you is because I've been married for 28 years and for 25 of those years I have been a journalist. And it's very challenging to be married to a journalist. I don't want to make it look light. Um, I'll tell you everything so that when it comes you know what to do. You're taking a very... You're taking a very brilliant girl. As, uh, her, as Jo said, she's got one of the most excellent brains. She's committed to journalism. And journalism is important in life because we do highlight what wouldn't have been highlighted. We speak for the voiceless. We are the ears and the eyes of those who do not have a voice. So Damali has got a calling. Her calling may not be on the church pulpit, but her calling is to the people of this country because she voices what they go through. Now, in delivering that, it comes with very tight deadlines. It also comes with a very unpredictable schedule. And maybe the, the best way to illustrate it to you is by telling you a, a small story about myself. One Christmas, when my children were very young, we traveled to Hoima with my husband. And as any proper, bro, properly brought up woman, woke up in the morning, supposed to prepare, you're supposed to prepare matoke and kalo and chicken and everything. But unfortunately for me, that Christmas day, I had to travel back. I mean, I just had to abandon that family to travel back. And very early on 26, I did travel back, and in, indeed I was in office on at 9, 9, 9, 9 a.m. But that meant I'm leaving part of my family hurting because I'm not with them. I'm not saying Damali will do that because she's a bad wife, but because when duty calls as a journalist, you have no option.